Hi everyone, I'm Mike from the Media Man Studio Review and my 3D rendering videos have become quite popular. I'm getting quite a few views on YouTube. We've been through this. There's an RTX 3090. This is two RTX 3090s. We've already done that video. Three RTX 3090s. Four RTX 3090s. You want me to render on four RTX 3090s. How do I do that? You want me to put them in here? All right. Let's see if we can render on four RTX 3090s in this external case. Hi everyone, I'm Mike from the Media Man Studio Review, and I'm really excited to be doing this video today because I get to render on multiple GPUs, and in this case, multiple RTX 3090s. And if you've been enjoying my videos, please hit that like button. It really helps me out with YouTube search engine. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel and hit notifications so that you can be informed when I release new videos. And your comments are always welcome in the section below. So let's take a look at the performance of the H3 platform Falcon 4205. So I've assigned one RTX 3090 to my host system. And to do that, you just click on the actual GPU itself, click on there, and then you click the allocate button right here. We're going to use the standard blender scenes that we've been using for all of our benchmarking. And when we rendered out with one 3090 GPU inside the workstation itself, we were getting about a 41, 42 seconds of render time. So there are two RTX 30 cards. There's one inside the actual workstation itself. It's an RTX 3080. So I've unchecked that one so that we're only using the RTX 3090 for these tests under both optics and CUDA. So, and we're using the same settings as before, 128 samples, GPU compute, and we'll just click render. So while we're waiting for that render, I do have the HD monitor open and we can see right here, it's jumped up to 100%. And you can see that render time up here, it's 42 seconds. So it's rendering out the same as if the GPU was actually inside the machine itself, but it's actually an external chassis. All right, so I've applied two GPUs or assigned two GPUs from the chassis to the host. And now we'll do the same render test. So here's the BMW Blender render test. So let's just run that render and see how long it takes to render that out. And again, we'll bring up the monitor. We'll have a look here, 100%. You know, the memory, we're only using about 20% of the 24 gigabytes of DDR6X memory. And that was extremely fast. So that was 12 seconds, 12 seconds to render that out. So definitely a reduction in render time. So in here we have the classroom renderer, so we'll just render that out and see how long that takes. Again, checking out our CPU usage. 100% on both. It's rendering that image extremely fast. So remember, this is no CPU, we're only doing GPU rendering. So the render is complete and it's done in about 29 seconds. So now I'm gonna assign four GPUs to this and we'll render out and see how much time we're saving and rendering on four GPUs, four RTX 3090s. So I have the four GPUs from the chassis hooked up to the host computer. So now moving over to the BMW scene, the first one was 20 seconds with one GPU, then we had 12 seconds for two GPUs. And let's render out and see what it's rendering at for four GPUs. And it's done. And the render is completed in about six seconds. So it is rendering extremely fast with the four GPUs. So we have opened the classroom scene in Blender. It's by far the most complex scene that we've been using for our test today. So let's see what it's like rendering it on four RTX 3090s. So we'll render the image out. While we're rendering that, of course, we do have our utilization up here. And one of the other things I wanted to show you was that you can actually see the actual throughput of each GPU and how much bandwidth is actually going across that PCI bus. So that was extremely fast across four RTX 3090s. Just really high performance rendering across the GPUs. And as you can see, it rendered it very quickly, it rendered it in 17 seconds. So I also wanted to demonstrate to you guys that you can hook up two hosts to this um, Falcon 4205. So I have currently two RTX 3090s assigned to this host, and I have two RTX 3090s assigned to this host. So you can see that they're showing up in the device manager. We have three GPUs, one in the host itself, two in the chassis. And I just wanted to show you also that here you can see that I've assigned two of these to the host card one. And, and this actually represents a host card. So it's host card 1.0 and the two GPUs, and this is host card 1.1 with two GPUs. We have cables 
that are actually coming out of the back of the chassis, connecting two cables to this host computer and two cables to this host computer. So we have the classroom scene up in both Blender on both hosts, and let's actually see how long it takes to render. So they do utilize 100% of the GPUs for both hosts, and it's rendering awfully quick. Again, you can hear the fans ramp up on the blower style RTX 3090s. And there is two different manufacturers of RTX 3090s in here. So I have uh, two of them connected to this one. Uh, and then two gigabyte cards are connected to this one here. So uh, this machine did finish a couple seconds faster than this one. This one was 31 seconds. And this one is 27 seconds. So they both rendered extremely fast for you know, two GPUs, two RTX 3090s. But this is how you can connect two hosts to one chassis using four RTX 3090s. So if you need to add more GPU power to your productions, take a look at Falcon's 4210 or the 4205. This is a four GPU unit, and this is an eight GPU unit. And that'll about wrap it up for this video. So don't forget to hit that like button, subscribe to the channel, hit notifications, and visit the Discord chat server. There's a link in the comment sections below. I really enjoyed doing this video, and I'll see you in the next one.